Hello, my name is Mary Knapp, and I am an intuitive life coach. I help lead people to a foundation of peace and authenticity, standing in confidence with who they are. I have been on my own healing journey for about 14 years, and through that, I have learned many different modalities of healing and have come to a space of healing and a greater connection to my higher power through this. And I teach people now to see. I teach them to spot and recognize the stories or the lies that they might be buying into that are holding them back and keep them, keeping them from being who they really are. I then teach them to explore and to look at what's the root cause of that story or that lie and help them to pull that out. It's quite often just as simple as recognizing that it's there. And then I teach people to embrace who they really are because who you are is underneath those, those stories and those lies. I got to mow the lawn a couple of weeks ago with my grandson and he came up to grab the bar. He's about 18 months old and he came up to grab the bar so he could walk with me. And I noticed that there was a spider web on there and I didn't want him to be afraid of the lawnmower, like if I freaked out or to be afraid of even spiders. So I quickly just wiped it away and rubbed it on my pants so that he wouldn't even know that there was anything wrong. We finished mowing the lawn and then a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, I found some spider webs here at my house and I freaked out. It was like, oh, this whole like, oh, creepy, like, oh. So looking at these two stories, what was the difference? It all came down to the story that was going on in my head. With my grandson, I didn't have time to even let a story come up there, which doesn't always happen. I could see that that we were just going to go forward with mowing the lawn and that it, it didn't need to be a big deal. But here at my house, I had a minute to let the all the craziness run about in my head. Well, as I observed and was able to spot the stories that I wasn't feeling safe and that a spider might bite me and I might be in pain or I might even die. I explored and looked deeper and the story, the lie that I had was I'm not safe, which I know isn't true. I know it, but I didn't know it. I need my whole body to believe it in order for me to go forward in experiencing that. So hold the root out of that as I've come to recognize that that's what was going on. And now I'm excited to see how I feel safe in many other areas of my life. I found that as I work with people, they are fascinated to find out that in working on these little stories in certain areas of their life, it affects everything, their work, their personal, their social, their um, everywhere, financial, it, it bleeds everywhere, whatever we believe. So come garden with me and I'm excited to see the growth that you'll experience as we do a little bit of weeding.